Hoo hoo. Do do. Uh, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. And we're back again with some more Dark Souls board game characters. Now these three are the character expansion dudes. We have the mercenary, sorcerer, and the bibbidi boppity bonky boy deprived. The reason I'm doing these three, because these three are the ones from the Painted World of Ariamis core set, and they are also the ones from the character expansion. So today we'll get these three done, and next video we'll get the other three done. And with those done, it will be the entire Dark Souls board game completely painted, and at some point I'll do another full collection video of it all. And engage Jolly Corporation. I'm going to start off getting these three painted. We're going to zenithal highlight them, and then we're going to work on painting them. So we have, as always with our zenithal highlighting, we have some Liquitex white ink in the airbrush. We're just going to be spraying top down on them, generating the light source from above, and then we can get painting them. So I'm going to get them stood up on their little handle here and cue the time lapse. I'm going to start with the naked chap. Straightforward, we're going to gonna go with some Gilliman Flesh contrast paint to base the skin. Get a good first coating of that. And once this contrast has been applied, we can go over it once it's dried and add highlights and shadows, all of that good stuff. But for now, one layer of contrast to get things kick-started on this guy. Now, there's no actual right way or wrong way to paint these fellas, because obviously, in your class and character customization, you can make them any way you like. I'm just doing a generic way of painting them. There we are. There's our coating of Gilliman Flesh Contrast. Quite thin, and that's fine because we can use it as our base to build up our colors onto. Next up, I'm going to move on to the shield and the club. I'm going to go with the snake bite leather contrast. It'll generate a nice woody tone. So far, pretty quick, pretty easy. Next, we've got his loin cloth, and I'm going to base that with another contrast with some skeleton horde contrast. Good for these sort of like material wrap kind of things. So just another thin layer of this contrast on the loin cloth. Right, there's our quick base of everything. And I'm just going to do the last base, which will be the hair, and I'll base it with some Garagax Sewer. Kind of a nice darky kind of brown. Right, that's a generic basing of everything on this character. So for the skin highlighting, I'm going to be using three different colours, which will be Night Quester Flesh, which I will use as our shadows. I'm going to use Cavian Flesh Tone, which will be the sort of main mid-tone colour. And I'm also going to be using Kizzler Flesh, which will be our highlight flesh tone colour. We're going to take our Night Quester Flesh, and I'll use this to start mapping out parts of shade left behind from the Zenithal Highlight, and the Contrast Mix. So all the darkest shadow areas will be covered with a layer of this Night Quester Flesh. And once the shadows have been mapped out, we can map out the highlights. Right, there's our shadows added in with the Night Quest of Flesh. I'm going to pop him back on his little handle, which will make things a little bit easier for me, I reckon. Right, with the Night Quest of Flesh done, I'm going to map out my highlights before I do my mid-tones. I'm now going to move up into my Cadian Flesh Tone. I'm going to start adding in my brighter tones to higher up areas on the skin. So there's our mid-tones applied. With the Cadian flesh tone all over. Now going to apply the Kizzler flesh, which will be our highlight. And I'll add this to all the areas that are closer to the light source and brighter and within the Cadian flesh tone, you know, all those areas. I'll get those pumped up with our brightest highlight tone. So with our highlights added in, all I'm gonna do now basically just go between those three tones. I'm gonna to add some glazes in, and what we're gonna do is basically just try and blend between these tones a bit more so there's no like harsh, obvious transitions. So I'm gonna start just with a glaze of our mid-tone, which was our Cadian flesh tone, and just start getting these transitions a bit smoother. Here we are, with our glazes applied. 
Next thing, I'm gonna get some Abaddon Black. I'm just gonna paint these eyes in. There's not a whole lot of detail on this deprived face, which is a little bit of a letdown in terms of model quality. You work with what you got. So that's the skin done and based. Now I'm gonna move on to the loincloth coloring. I'm gonna highlight it with some Zandri dust, and I'm also gonna paint the rope going over his shoulder with the Zandri dust as well. Also gonna use the Zandri dust just to add some like scratches onto the shield. And do the same in the club. I'm gonna add in some color on his hair with some Mornfang Brown and just add like little streaks. And I'll add some of the Mornfang Brown as well to the loincloth. Right, and now I'm gonna do a extremely thin wash of Reichland Flesh Shade over this fella. Use this wash just to help tie colors together a tad. And I'm gonna grab my Flesh Terror's Red Contrast. Because he's a deprived, I kind of want a bit of bit of blood splatter on this fella. Basically flick blood at this guy. Here we go. A little blood cover deprived. Oh, almost forgot. The little metal parts that are on his shield. Just gonna do a very thin layer of this iron breakers. There's our little blood soaked deprived. Now we can move on to the next one. So I have here my Sorcerer, which will be the next one to do. And for his white coat, I have some new contrast paint that I'm wanting to try out. And it's this, which is the Apothecary White contrast paint. So I have no idea how this is gonna react with our coat, but you know, there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna get a layer of this contrast all over the coat. I think that's quite a cool contrast, you know. It's not exactly like white, but it's like a nice sort of off-white, greyish, well, it works quite nicely with the Zenithal highlight, I reckon. So that's going to take a little hot sec to dry. So whilst it's drying, we can move on to some other parts. So let's base the staff while we're here. And we'll base that with some snake bite leather contrast. So it's a nice wooden little wand, or catalyst as I should call it. So I'm going to move on to the shield. I'm not going to use metallics for it. I'm going to try to use some acrylics. So I'm going to use some Ishin Grey for the main sort of tone. Corax white for the highlights, Abaddon black for the shadows. So thin layer all over the shield with some Ishin gray. I'm going to load up the Corax white and just kind of create kind of this sort of like bouncing, sort of coming out from the center of the shield. And I'm just gonna blend those together. Cool. I'm gonna carry on with this white and I'm going to use it to edge highlight and brighten up areas of our cloak. So we have some clothing underneath to paint and I'm going to grab some more of my snake bite leather and this little scarf here, get a coating of that on there and the leggings and trousers and the boots as well can have some snake bite leather on them as well and also the little belt going around the waist. And the inner garments, I guess, like the top underneath the coat is a bit blue. I'm gonna use some slightly darker blue and it's gonna be this Leviathan blue. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight the, the brown parts with a bit of Zandri dust. Now I'm gonna move on to the face and I'm gonna base the darker parts. There's not a lot of point using contrast because it's just this tiny little face here. So I'm just gonna base the dark parts with some Night Quest of Flesh. And then same as what we did with the Deprived. Move up into our mid-tones of Cadian Flesh Tone. And then finally, adding in some Kids Left Flesh to highlight it. There we are. A little face detailed in, clothes painted in. So I'm just gonna use some Corax White again, and I'm gonna use this to detail in the little decals on the clothes. There's our little sorcerer. Pretty cool. Pretty cool looking little fella. 
So we can put him to one side with our deprived, and we can move on to the last one, which will be our mercenary. And for him, I'm gonna start off by basing the shield with some snake bite leather. Now I'm gonna do some snake bite leather on his boots. Now the head wraps and the sort of like skirt area, I guess. I'm just gonna do with some skeleton horde contrast. We can do the cape with some basilicanum gray contrast. I'm gonna base his chest plate with a very thin layer of iron warriors, just all over the sort of armor area and I'll just base the sword as well, because it is quite a thin sword. I think I'm just gonna use metallics on it. And the sort of metal bits on the shield as well. Cool, let's base the skin, same way we did the sorcerer. I'm gonna use some Night Quest of Flesh. And get that on the sort of shadow parts. Hello. So I'm gonna move up and go into the Cadian flesh tone, and I'll paint that onto the sort of lighter areas. And then I'm just gonna finish off the skin and highlight it with some Kids Left Flesh. The skin's been applied and what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go over the sort of like details over the armor on the breastplate, which is like some sort of like straps and things. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna base it with some Rhinoxide. And now I'm gonna add some highlight onto those leather parts with some Mournfang Brown. Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna take some washes of Abaddon Black and I'm just gonna use that to go around the model just to beef up some shadows and up some contrast in areas. So parts of the shield around the edges, thinking that it'll be lighter in the middle. Just gonna use this black wash and kind of blend it into the color, like so. Got that kind of contrast on that shield now. And I'll just kind of follow suit with that across the body. Cool. So I've black washed around the body and what I'm gonna do now is use some Zandri dust just to brighten up parts of this sort of shawl and wraps. Cool, and I'll also add some highlighting to the cape with a sort of mix of Corax white and Mechanica standard gray. I'm just gonna edge highlight on this lighter gray on the ridges. And then I'm just gonna go over that and edge highlight with some pure Corax white. Okay, so I've highlighted areas around with some edge highlighting on this dude. And I think what I wanna do, now I did some blood splatters on the deprived. I didn't do anything with the sorcerer, but because it is a mercenary, I think I'm gonna add some sort of, some sort of battling scars or something, you know? Mementos of battle, we'll call them. So I'm gonna drop some coagulated blood in, just with a sort of fraying brush. I'm just gonna kind of dab on, build up some blood on this model. Maybe kind of like the tips of the cape. Sort of around the sort of wraps at the front, the tiny little dab of it on the face, as if he's just, you know, slaughtered something. And then we'll build some up, up the weapon, onto the hands, maybe on the front of the boot. Just kind of speckle it and stipple it around. This is a blood-soaked mercenary. Like so. Yeah, you know. Right. Well, that will about do it for these three. So there we are. There's the three from the Painted World of Ariamis core set. Also the character expansion people. We have our Deprived. We have our Sorcerer. And we have the one we just did, which would be the Blood Soaked Mercenary. That wraps up for this episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing these get painted and hopefully if you have your own set and you're not sure where to start with painting them, hopefully this gives you an idea or some sort of inspiration to paint your own. Like I said, you know, these aren't set colors for these. These are just colors that I thought would be quite nice for them. So do what you want, do what you think looks good. As long as you're enjoying doing it, that's all that matters. But if this did give you any inspiration towards painting any of your own, 
awesome. That's all I want from this. But that'll do it from me. Thank you so much once again for watching, and I will see you all next week for more Dark Souls models. Peace out. Yes, thank you ever so much everyone for joining me once again for another Dark Souls board game painting video. We are edging ever nearer to finishing the entire board game collection, and that means another updated collection video. But until then, thank you for joining me. Peace out, gang. And don't you dare go hollow. <laughs>